26, I had you know three three big houses, three big mortgages, you know, nice BMW, earning about five and a half thousand pound a month, and then um, obviously it led me to two years' time. You know, I'd lost a lot. At the peak of his profession, Guy Branson was earning well with a long career ahead of him. But in a remarkably honest interview at his home in Torquay, he told me success in lower league football is short-lived. We see footballers with nice cars, big houses. Can that be the case outside of the Premier League? What, what, were, you, what were you earning? What did you have? Well, I mean, you know, over 100, over 100 grand a year, which is, to me, fantastic from a, an area I was brought up in, to have that sort of money, earning that sort of money. But I had a nice car, a BMW 320, I invest in houses. I had a fantastic time doing it, you know, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me if I'm honest losing it all. Inside two years that lifestyle was over, along with league football, as Guy was forced into the conference to play for Kettering. His salary dropped as well to about £30,000 a year. It's not secure football, it's, it's a very insecure game. You know, the lower league lads really need to understand that it's a short career, it's very hard to have a, a, a two or three year career. If you're going to be a footballer, plan for the future. What are you going to do after football? It's little over a month since Guy announced his retirement, aged 35, from a career spanning 18 seasons and 19 different clubs. But his experiences taught him to prepare for life after football. Oh, here he is. What does your business do? What, what, put it well, it, well, it basically, basically promotes you as a footballer promotes your best bits, promotes you as a, as a footballer, your CV as in your written CV, gives a bit of information within your, your account, but also it shows your video clips that are next to your CV, so people can see you actually play. And it's about the player taking control. I had to take control of my own career. If I didn't, I would have ended up playing in the Conference North the rest of my career. Some more, you get some more. Guy's focus is now on growing that business to support his young family. But for players like Torquay defender Dale Tong, earning a living from lower league football, especially after relegation, takes some getting used to. The perception that fans have and the general public of players at this level, especially youth players, is just because they're a, a football club means they must be on good money. It, they couldn't be further from the truth. More often than not, the clubs have to put them up in digs, uh, in hotels, B&Bs. Um, and they basically have to run their lives because they can't afford anything else. Now 29, Dale has also begun planning for life after football. He's taken his coaching badges and hopes to stay in the game. He's also traded in the stereotypical Mercedes for something more practical. I remember my first few months down here and it cost me a fortune in my car. So the first thing I did, I got rid of my petrol, got rid of my, got rid of my, my nice shiny black car and I had to get a, a new diesel that were good on fuel. <laughs> so. It's just one of those things, I had to think about economy, I get to think about tax. A lot of things that I never thought I'd ever have to think about, I did, and it's just the, um, the reality of being a lower league footballer.